three, two, one. What's going on, everyone? You're watching Ash on Comics. My name is Ash. This is Stan the Man. And this is today's comic, number six of Young Justice by Wonder Comics. Oh boy, Escape from Gym World. Hold on to your panties. You are in for a ride. <laughs> Woo! Just finished reading this book. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a doozy. Oh, look at this. Event Leviathan, Brian Michael Bendis, Alex Maleev. Join Leviathan in June. Oh, okay. I didn't know about this. I'm glad there was an ad promoting this book. I wouldn't know about this book otherwise. Be nice if they had ads for Hawkman. Hey, look at this page. Does this look familiar? It should. It absolutely should. Why, why should it look familiar? Let's go look at issue five. It's the exact same page. So this page is telling us what happened on the last issue. That's issue four. This is issue six, telling us the exact same thing. This is a testimony of how Bendis stories, nothing happens. You can read the same thing. What last would happen? Blah, 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 blah. Then the next issue, same exact thing, because nothing's actually happening. It's just a bunch of bullshit. And you get to pay for this art that's just cut and paste, read, read used. So, so far, we're two pages into the book. We have an ad and a reuse page. Awesome. You're getting your money's worth, kids. And then all of a sudden, they're in some jungle. We don't know why. Um, is it me, or does everything look different? Seriously, dog? Seriously? Go, go. They're all excited. Superboy. It's not you, Cassie. Young Justice. Head count, everyone, okay? Sound off. We've never done that before. Hey, most of us are supposed to be on Earth right now. Jim World just shifted under our feet, which scared the hell out of me. And he grew up in a house with Batman. Dun 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 dun. Also, half of us just met. And I never left Texas before last week. Wait, what just happened under our feet? I'll tell you exactly just what happened, Amethyst. Young Justice, Seven Crisis, Seven Crises Finale. Here's, a, oh jeez. I'll tell you just what happened. Here on Gem World, I am Amethyst. Dogs. That doesn't even make sense. It doesn't make sense. What did Opal do? Even my truck looks different. What we just witnessed, what happened around us was confirmation of the nightmare I'm describing to you. A nightmare we may not be able to come back from. Which is? The Dark Lord Opal's powers are so corrupted and out of control, blah, 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 blah. And this whole page layout is confusing as all get out. You got these floating panels, but then they're floating over things that don't even make sense. Like this, this truck here, this panel and this panel are not the same thing. Um... So if you're going to do this sort of thing, all the parts that are underneath the floating panel should be the same scene. It's confusing otherwise. We have these gutters to define individual scene, pa you know, panels, but this panel doesn't have any gutters. Eh, anyways, you get the point of what I'm talking about. All this is confusing. Now, this artist is not Patrick Gleason. I don't expect his level of quality. Obviously, it's taken a dip. Um... So we get Amethyst talking. He says, 
didn't get to say hi back in the prison pits. You're really Amethyst of Gem? Yeah. Pleasure to meet you. You're a legend around here. And you're really the Superboy? Well, a Superboy. <laughs> Isn't that right, Bendis? Because now we've got multiple Superboys to deal with. Connor, stop. I know we're in the middle of crazy, but how are you here? How do you know of her? And how do you have a baby? And then they're like, Oh, looks so cutesy. Ooh, look at my awkward face. I don't mean, how do you make a baby? I mean, how did you specifically have one? Wow, he has a baby? A general baby and a wife. Bart, thank you so much for that. Guys, like you, I just... As you can see, this is nonsense. This is just an Archie comic. There's nothing happening. It's just banter of characters. This is a writer who is so self-impressed with his sitcom-style writing of just characters bantering back and forth without actually moving a plot. There's no real story. This is just a sake of being entertained by funny characters being witty back and forth. And then he talks about, I just ended up here. One minute I was messing with goofballs at Star Labs. The Star Labs in Central City? Nevada Desert. Secret Lab. Oh. And the next part? The gem. The gem. Oh, for fuck. And now, because it's just, this whole book is LOL so random. This is what this is. It's LOL so random, Young Justice. Not just Young Justice. And then he's just conveniently crashed into gym world um really dog come on here's the other one just being gotta get on the scene i want to be on youtube so anyways where's your pathway stop it amethyst probably knows how some of the darker courts treat the farmers where's your pathway you're all the way farming out here stop it i'm allowed to be here blah 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 blah, blah. we're big bullies I'm her husband, says Superboy. Oh, you are? I am. You okay, honey? The hell? Yeah, because I'm sure people on other worlds and other realities talk just like freaking hipster <laughs> millennials. The hell? <laughs> no. This is how stupid Bendis is as a writer. He writes everyone the same. Why can't this lady have a gem world voice? Uh, have a nice day. What the hell are you dressed as? What the hell are you? Oh, ah! Seriously, have a nice day, gentlemen. Ma'am, are you okay? They killed my husband in, in turquoise trade battle, and then they taunted me for being a single mother. Real genius. But thank you. What was that? It's the gym. I don't ask anymore. <sighs> so, she's pregnant with a baby. Stop kicking, baby. You said the gym? Are you okay? Oh, no. Do you need to sit? Oh, no. We were lucky to find each other. A couple of strangers that needed a little help. I had no way home. I had nowhere to even start looking. This amazing woman took me in. I offered her protection in the form of a husband. Oh, Bendis, that's dangerous writing. Women don't need no men. A, why, does, why does a woman need a husband protector? Women are just as badass. How? Are you sure you want to write this? She offered me a little purpose until I figured out what happened. And... All I kept thinking about is how I messed up my whole journey has been. How much I missed all you guys. Blah 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 blah. Wait, you were just waiting us for us to show up when we showed up? That's crazy. Totally. But uh you did. Yeah, because that's how Bendis writes. Nothing mattered. It was all just convenient plot <laughs> uh what is it? What uh plot convenience or script convenience like Nothing mattered. It's just, I need to get these characters together. I'm just going to plop them together. And he literally is writing this in the book, explaining that is what happened. Okay, Con 
Connor, when was the last thing you remember about me? That you just asked me that question? Such a good answer. Ding, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> it's so stupid. Connor, I forgot about you. Wow. Listen to me. I just recently discovered that somebody erased the entire mind, the entire young justice from my mind. I went to Metropolis to find out how, how and what could have happened, and I ended up here. I remember everything about Young Justice, and I just thought back in Metropolis, you didn't either, and that's why you were acting weird. And then Young Bart started yelling, Young Justice, and I just tried to keep it cool till I was just acting weird because I am weird. LOL, so random, look, I'm picking up this little creature. Wee! But how are we are now, all together? You remember us now? Yes, but I don't remember this Green Lantern. What does this all mean? We can do my thing another time. No, no, tell us your story. Oh, so yeah, I'm Kelly Quintella. Hold on while I rub my eyes and try to avoid a headache. Kelly Quintella. <laughs> Fucking stupid. You're nine. You're a nine-year-old Green Lantern? I'm an 11-year-old who hacked into the Green Lantern power battery from my mom's place in La Paz, Bolivia. Stan, what the frick is happening to comics? So this little Bolivian girl living in a third world country hacked into a Green Lantern ring across the star. How? How? Oh, I know, because the science. Because she's a super science girl like Riri Williams. She's Riri Williams 2.0. No way. Huh? I rigged my own way to pull the source energy into this. Then I reprogrammed it to do whatever I want, and they don't even know. Who doesn't know? You know, the Green Lantern people. This super science the one of the most powerful things in the, the DC universe, the Green Lanterns. She, this little girl just hacked into it. Bendis was like, you know, the idea that this little girl, Riri Williams, could reverse engineer Stark technology wasn't ridiculous enough. I need to, to up my game and come up with a new version of Riri Williams that's even more utterly ridiculous and unbelievable. Just makes Riri look like a dunce that this girl is even that much smarter when I go to DC. And congratulations, you did it. It's not as stupid as being a nine-year-old. It's only slightly less stupid because she's 11. And she all did it because she wants an internship. Um... And then they're like, I got to tell you, I think I'm going to get into a bundle of trouble hacking that stuff, says Ginny. I have to agree with my friend who I don't know, <laughs> says Cassie. Yeah, who are you? <laughs> just, it's like the dialogue is just written to just be like, oh, it's time to introduce this character. Miss Hex, tell me again, you were in Metropolis because, says Robin. Yeah. Hi, my name's still Ginny. And, I, and like you, I came to Metropolis for some answers, and I just happened to fall into whatever the hell happened here. I'm still shaken. Who talks like this? Answers to what? Well, I inherited some stuff here, and I don't know what to do with it. Who died? My mother. Sorry to hear it. But this was my great-grandpa, supposedly. <laughs> like, just brush right over, dead mother. Just burp, burp. My mom never told me about it till the day she died. Huh? Look at my name is Brian Michael Bendis, and I watched Pulp Fiction. Ooh, it's the mysterious thing in the trunk. Don't know what it is. Also from Repo Man. Is, is that one of the? Yeah, but make sure you don't tell the audience what it is. That's the trope. I, Bendis can steal with the best of them. And that's a real? Yeah. I thought that was a myth. That literally has a label that says, do not touch. I want to touch it. Of course. Of course. So fast forward. Um, and they're talking about, uh, oh, yeah, this is great. 
So they need to defeat Black Opal. Remember the big bad guy? That's the big bad guy of the series. He need to defeat him. We need, what we need to do is get his... It, inside his castle is a gem. All of us have this gem. His is the opal. It's a, it's pure... Sorry, it's a gem of pure black opal. It floats inside an enormous... Uh, deep, deep in the bowels. Sorry, I'm all messing this up. Let me re <laughs> recollect myself. It's a gem of pure black opal. It floats inside an enormous vault, deep, deep in the bowels of the fiery pits of that demonic castle. The combination to the vault is Opal's own blood. Here's where we get the Mission Impossible style writing, right? Where you like announce how, how impossible it is to do it. It's guarded by a tentacle-covered vermin creature that burns all living flesh with a touch. They say even looking at the monster has driven lesser people insane. If you can get past the monster, then there's a three-mile drop toward the core of... You mean this? Did... Look at that face. That silly Billy cartoon. Did, did you... Is this the thing in the basement with the tentacle guy and the low hang? You just took that out of Castle Opal? Well, yeah, super speed. That's it. That, that's stupid. Remember, we that badass villain that's been been like foreshadowed in the in the comic, and you're like, ooh, the justice young justice is gonna go up against this guy. No, the bing bing, we just. Couple panels, Bart's gone, Bart's back, got the gem. No fight, no conflict. Just, I, oh, you need this? We got it. So Opal's really gonna want that, yep. Look at this stuff. So Opal's really gonna want that, yep. Bitch, you were just saying to steal it, and now he stole it, and you're like, oh. Okay. Rubble Rumble Creek, what's going on? Oh, it's a giant monster castle. I think this is asking a lot from me in my first time out as a superhero. I just peed. Stan. Stan, did you ever write in any of your comics, have a character, superhero say, I just peed? No, I don't think you did. So is that a monster Opal uses as a castle or a castle he uses as a monster? Batman taught me early on, if you have to ask, does it really matter? Ding ding bom bom. And then Superboy takes off. Do we have a plan? Yeah, hold on. Oh, I left it in my late 90s costume. But um bum psh You guys do what you gotta do. I'm gonna punch a castle in the face. <sighs> so, Kelly, can you protect the Opal Prime? I can. Hi, I'm Bart Timber. Bart Timber? Timber behind us. Get it? Cause it fell like a tree. Timber! Oh, for, is everyone okay? Are you asking if I'm okay with the building attacking me or falling down on me? Amethyst. Ah! Bart, get that opal thing away from here. What? Like now? Go, cutie. Opal! She's charging in on her flying My Little Pony. Amethyst! Will the other courts hear what you've done here today? Breaking the prime rule of Jim. The last... Laying your disgusting hands on our opal of purity. You will be banished forever, princess. Basically, uh, when I go and tell on you uh, to mom and dad, you're going to be so busted. That's this villain. I'm going to tell on you. <laughs> That's this threat. I'm going to tell, and you're going to be in trouble. You know, No matter what happens today, girl, the other houses are going to banish you for this. And I promise you, I will take your house when you're gone. Yeah, well, at least I'll look good in green. What does that even mean? I don't know what this panel is. Something green happens. I'm presuming Green Lantern does some green stuff. Oh, excuse me. Binds him up and boop, boop, sock in the face. Oh, and then Superboy gets a pop in the face. Oh, and then Cassie gets to kick him in the face. 
it's always blunt head trauma, as Zach always says. <laughs> so these SJW blunt head trauma. Oh, blunt, blunt. Oh, tweet, 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 tweet. Oh, look, he's the villain dude's knocked out. And there's oh, not fair. Oh, poor Impulse didn't get to punch in the face. All right, boys. Everyone, it's it's camera pose time. Everyone look cool, cause we're cool. Okay, I'll do the finger guns. Yeah, you look cool doing the finger guns. Yeah, look at that pose. Oh, oh. So stupid. This is not heroism. This is self-aggrandizing. This is Marvel at their worst. This is the shit that Bendis brought to Marvel, turned Marvel into, and now is bringing back to DC. Our, okay, now say it. Young Justice is back! We've already had this. You do this every comic. How many times does Young Justice get to say we're back? It's like... There you go. Cool. Uh, what now? Look at this. This is just... This is stupid comics. It's a bunch of teenagers just pretending to be cool. And this... Young Justice is back. You're appealing to the people who don't like comics, but like the idea of comics. Maybe they watched the Young Justice cartoon years ago and were like, yeah. And this is just Ben is saying, let's just celebrate. I don't have to write a good story. You're just excited because Young Justice is back. And I'm going to play off that emotion over and over and over and baffle you with my little witty banner between the characters. And you'll never realize all along that there's no story being told. Now we go home. I can arrange that. Thank you. Let me uh, get my stuff. Oh, Superboy is going to have a, a moment with his non-wife and non-child, which I, I have to go back now. So Bendis just lied to the audience in order. That's not how you do a twist a shock, shocking plot twist. It's not really his kid. We only thought it was his kid because you lied to us. You literally, why did Superboy tell his friends that this was his wife and his baby when it wasn't? I get it that you tell like the corrupt military and stuff to hide, but why these people? Who is she? Oh, she's my wife. No, it's who is she? Oh, um, I'm pretending to be her husband to protect her and her baby from the villainy of this, of this world. That's how you would answer it. But no, in order to surprise the reader, I'm going to lie. I mean, I'm, I'm glad that there's not a now a Supergirl, because that's another thing. We thought this was a boy. Now, Ben has never said it was a boy, but it alluded to it. Look, it even had the little, like, little curly thing hair. Like, a lot has happened. A lot needs to be investigated. So we get the council. Here's the freaking George Lucas Jedi Council politics boring parts. This is so dumb. Um, I get the, I don't even care. Um, so they're all leaving and it's like, thank you everyone. We apologize for the inconvenience and we certainly apologize for complicating the situation here, says Robin, but thank you for seeing us home. You apologize. The gem will never forget what you've done here. Oh, look, apparently there's more villains on gem. Oh, we're going to go home everyone. Yay. Everyone get in the truck, the magic truck, chitty, chitty, bang, bang. Push the button. Beam us home, Scotty. And with that, Amethyst is banned from Gem forever. What? She disobeyed the commands of this council one too many times. We told her what would happen. Amethyst just brought down the House of Opal. It has set the balance of Gem into chaos. She gave us a chance to thrive. We disagree. Well, we'll continue this nonsense when she returns. Oh, please. Please don't fucking return and have more nonsense. Um, why? Where did you send the emerald? Where did you send her emerald? We didn't send her. We banished her. Banished. All of the young intruders. All of them. That smug Kryptonian spy. For good and forever. Where did you send them? Where is my amethyst? Where is Young Justice? Next. Lost in the multiverse. Oh, hey, look. It's an ad for Leviathan. 
I think that's the second one that we've had, right? Let's see. We started off. Sorry. Indulge me. So we had, oh, yep, there's one. And all oh, this book, nothing happens. Two. Oh, hey. I guess we need two ads. In case you forgot while you were reading this nonsense. Oh, yeah, Bendis has more books on the way. That trash? Did you enjoy reading this trash nonsense? Well, guess what? We got a big, big event of trash coming your way. Wait, what's this? It's another event Leviathan ad. Oh, that's, so that's, that's three. Oh, that's a lot. What's it? What? There's another event Leviathan ad. Holy shit. How many more of these do we need? I, I guess we need another one. Another event Leviathan ad. <laughs> In case you, you weren't sold on this book. Let's see. Oh, uh, there's another one. Let's see if there's any more. Oh, there is. <laughs> there's another one. Can't be any more, though. Oh, nope, there's another one. <laughs> oh, finally, there's no more. Okay. So the first two pages were nonsense of this book. Then you paid for one, two, three, four, five, six more pages of the same fucking picture. <laughs> That's so stupid. Oh, seven. Seven. There's eight total ads with the same picture. Eight. Eight. And then one thing for John or Frank Miller and John Romita. An actual two legends of the two. Just that. So that's that's this book. <laughs> this is garbage. Young Justice is nonsense. This book is silly billy. It's not. It's not offensive in that it's trying to push social agenda, politics, really. It's just silly billy garbage from a writer who hacks out 10 books a month, at least. I, it's, I can't count now with all the events that he's a part of, but when he started this, Young Justice, it's 10 books a month. Does not get the characters at all. All these characters are out of their personalities. I don't know who this guy is. Everyone tells me Tim Drake's the best Robin. This Robin's a freaking idiot. It's stupid. She's uh, insufferable. Um, she is just an unlikable bitch. Um, so is she, she, uh, these, all these characters. I, I hate them all, except maybe Impulse. Um, uh, Superboy's okay. He's just edgy. He's, he just doesn't belong. <sighs> Tell me what you think. This, <laughs> this book's just a joke. It's... It didn't offend me. I didn't like hate reading it. Like I said, it's just it's just like watching an episode of Big Bang Theory. Just quippy people back and forth. Nom, 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 ah, ha, ha. And and then it's over. And nothing really happened. That's what this is. It's, it's a bunch of characters snapping at each other, sounding witty. They're not even actually witty. They're making things like I peed. That's not witty. That's just it's just LOL so random nonsense. So this is way too long. So, uh, sorry to bend your ear that long. Uh, I th <laughs> Tell me what you think uh, about this, and uh, I'd love to hear, and I'll catch you next time. Stan, I'm sorry I had to put... It's time for another JL8 webcomic, number 44, by Yale Stewart. So, John, when are you getting a new suit? Probably not for some time. My father just purchased this one. No, no, like a real suit. I'm not sure I understand. This is a real suit. No, like one with armor and pockets and gadgets and belts and stuff. Hmm? My jacket has pockets. Oi.